I'd like to just go through a couple absolute value inequality examples um, just to show you how you could solve each of these by hand. So if you remember from class with absolute values um, you always have to compare your inequality to both the positive value so in this case 1 and the negative value but when you're comparing it to the negative value um, you need to flip the inequality sign. So the two inequalities we would be solving are 3x minus 1 is less than 1, 3x minus 1 is greater than negative 1. And to solve, we add 1 to each side, divide by 3, x is less than 2 thirds, is one of our solutions. And then here if we add 1, divide by 3 we get x is greater than 0. So what we need is we need x to be less than 2 thirds and we need x to be greater than 0. So less than 2 thirds would be to the left here and greater than 0 would be to the right and so the solution is right here where the two overlap and that solution um, is going to be the interval parentheses 0 to 2 thirds. Okay, so just remember when you're solving the inequality over here to flip the negative sign. Okay, if you think about what your graph would look like for an inequality, remember it's always a V. So if I were to draw that graph in down here, Notice here I want it to be less than 1, so less than is anywhere where it is below this x-axis here, or the line 1. And less than would be the bottom of the V, wherever it is below the line, which again is from 0 to 2 thirds. So you can think about it in terms of the graph, or you can think about it um, by solving it by hand. Let's look at one more example that is a little bit trickier. With this example, the main thing that you want to remember is you cannot split up your inequality into the two values, the positive and the negative, until the absolute value is by itself. So first, here I'll subtract 12. And then I have to get rid of this negative sign in front of the absolute value. I can't distribute it. Um, and so I would end with the absolute value of 9 minus x is ooh, not less than, since I divided by a negative 1, I'm going to flip it and make it greater than 13. And so at this point, once the absolute value is by itself, then I can solve my two inequalities. One inequality stays exactly the same, while the second, we have to flip the inequality sign and flip the sign of what we're solving for. So 9 minus x is greater than 13. 9 minus x is less than a negative 13. Okay, now I will resolve those or rewrite those up here at the top. 9 minus x is greater than 13 or 9 minus x is less than negative 13. When you're solving this, the one thing just to be aware of is that we have a negative x. So again, we have to divide by a negative 1. And when we divide by a negative 1, we flip the sign again. So x has to be less than negative 4 or if we solve over here, we again divide by a negative 1, and so we flip the sign, and x has to be greater than 22. So on the number line, less than negative 4 is to the left, greater than 22 is to the right, and so our solution is going to be written in two pieces. On the left, the way that we would describe this piece would be negative infinity to negative 4, all with parentheses, 
and on the right this would be described as 22 to infinity. Again, if you think of what your graph looks like here, if we were to draw this V in, okay, we want the part of the graph where it is greater than, because notice what we ended with before was that we wanted it to be greater than 13, so the part above the graph. And this is the section above the graph, and this is the section above 13. So it's our two ends to the graph.